All right, it's 10 after 3. On Thursday afternoon, it's hot in here. If anyone finds himself getting drowsy listening to this audio tape, I will perfectly understand. I've been there myself. Just get our attention and we'll take a break, all right? It can be difficult to sit for long periods of time listening to something uh, and, and not losing focus. If you find yourself losing focus, don't be embarrassed. Just get our attention. We'll take a break. Okay? All right. I'd appreciate one. To prevent me from getting drowsy. There's no reason for this to be transcribed, I'm assuming. Or you are excused. Go ahead. City. So a lot of the stuff that you talk about, I'm not going to have the local knowledge of. So what's your address? Don't know. Okay. Okay. Have you lived there long? Okay. But it's here in town? Uh, I live in Alta Vista. Okay. Do you have a cell phone? What's that? A cell phone. Okay. 8 Okay, what up? Before we leave, I'll give you my number, and if you have any questions, um, you can give me a call, and I can... This way I have your number, and I'll call you, okay? Oh, you, your phone? Okay. Does Zach have a phone, too? Different number? What's that? Okay, you just dialed up, right? And are you guys married? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, which is, is Zachary? Mm-hmm. And what's his? Oh. Oh. What's his? K O E H R. K O E H R. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
I'm very, very sorry about the circumstances that, that brought us together today. But um, I've often, you know, learned through doing this for 27 years that the, the more information that we can have, the more helpful it is to figure out what happened and, and everything else. And so um, I wasn't there today or, you know, you were, or, and, and Zach were, so you guys would be able to give us the most information, the most helpful information, so that we can give it to the doctors and, you know, try to figure out, to get you guys the answers that you need. So, um, you lived at this place for four months, you say? Two or three. Okay. Where's home for you? Um... Most my childhood is spent in Charles City, but okay. the bounce between Mason City and Houston, and my most recent one is Riceville. That's where my mom still lives. Okay. Charles City, Mason City. Where else? Yeah, actually, not a school here, but half of the school year in Okay. And then my school has been mostly time. That's where my mom still lives. What's your mom's name? Brandy. Who do I know her? B R A N D Y. Harris? Oh, well, she doesn't know me. Okay. Are you guys still pretty close? Before we moved to Altavista, over, uh, Zach. Right. Is that over there? Okay. Well, that's pretty common. That doesn't like him. Okay. What's his name? Richard King. Have they been married long? I want to remember it. Oh. He's just more of a dad than my brother's dad was. Gotcha. Have they been together a long time? A year longer than me and Zach, so four or five years. Hmm. You and Zach have been together four or five years? Three or four. Oh, great. Yeah. Because our oldest daughter is a year and a half. She'll be two years So you and Zach have been together for what? You said two or three years? Mm -hmm. How did you guys meet? No, no. My mom and dad used to ride motorcycle again. Get my little chair in the road. I'm trying not to look two blocks away. Hmm. Did they introduce you to them? No, actually, the guy I was seeing at the time, one of his friends did, but it was, that's how we had a family So your mom and, and stepdad knew Zach mm -hmm. from a motorcycle ride, and then hmm, you guys were living that close here in New Hampton? Yes. Okay. My mom called him the Mexican whose bike kept falling apart because mm. he kept losing pieces on the ride. <laughs> Does he still ride motorcycle? Um, one of his friends was riding it and got rear-ended by a texting teenager. Mm. And we haven't had the money to fix it. Yeah. So he's just thinking about selling it to his friend. Okay. So unfortunately, no. No. What's your date of birth, Cheyenne? Uh, February 17th, 1997. Okay. So you're 20, right? You're 21 on February. Yeah. Okay. And I know you work at home because you're stay, you, you stay at home, but do you have any other jobs in addition to that? Okay. I've been talking about getting a 
small part-time job for me during the day when he's home, but I don't like the bother somebody else raising my kid. Sure. Kids. So you guys met. Did you date mom? Tell me about your, your, like your courtship and stuff like that. Well, we started off like keeping it quiet because I did my own report. And what actually got me was he bribed me to meet him with grilled bacon, because I've never had grilled bacon before. Right. And I loved bacon, so he told, like, convinced me that we got off work to walk down halfway between my house and his and try his amazing grilled bacon. <laughs> so I did. Okay. And you've been together ever since, huh? Mm -hmm. Were you still in high school at the time? No. I, uh... Let's see, we were... I was living with my birth father in Charles City. And then I got... Oh, I forgot, in the I lived in North Springs at one point. Okay. Because North Springs, Central Springs was the last school that I went to. Because I lived from my dad's to my mom in Mason City. And I hated the school there. And then I ended up in Central Springs. I went to school there for a year and a half or something like that. And then Mom couldn't afford rent at that place anymore, so we ended up back in Mason, and I refused to go to school there again. So I just didn't enroll. And then a couple months after we got there, Mom couldn't afford rent in that place, so we ended up living in with her boyfriend, who she'd actually only been dating for a week when we moved in with him, but that's when we moved to high school. Well, I was pregnant with Nala. Towards the end of it, I was trying to do this, um, uh, not high school, but ulti. Okay. Online ulti. Okay. But, I don't know, I just, I was always tired with Nala being pregnant. And oh, yeah. I was constantly worrying about how I was living with my mom. Yeah. And so I just didn't get enough of it done and then Nala ended up being born and I definitely didn't have time then. Sure. Sure. Well, so rather than, than just glance over this, do you do you know about when you left was Charles City you started growing up in Charles City, okay? And then do you remember when you left Charles City? About how old were you? No, I don't. Um, I think. When I went to Mason City, I was in eighth grade. So Charles City to Mason City. Mm -hmm. And Mason City was in eighth grade. So did you start eighth grade there? No, I think I was part way through the year. Okay. How long did you stay at Mason City then? It doesn't have to be Part exact. of a year, and then we left over summer before school started. And we went to Central Springs. And that's when you were living in North Springs then? Mm-hmm. Okay. Started high school at Central Springs then? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's tough times to be moving when you're in high school. Yeah, my grades plummeted drastically. 
Okay. And then there's no way I'd be able to get caught up. So. Yeah. So you're in Nora Springs. When, how long did you go to school in Nora Springs? Um, I'm not for sure. It was no more than a year, but I... I don't think I even finished out the year. Okay. Because I remember when we left, it was, there was snow on the ground because one of mom's fire boxes got left there because they couldn't get it out. And then from North Springs, then you, did you go back to Mason City? Mm-hmm. And then I think we were there a couple of months. And then went to Westville. And then I, bit, I lived in Montana for a short time. I lived in Louisiana for a short time. <laughs> How did you get to those places? Is that because of uh, the road chart? Oh, okay. In Montana, he was a cattle driver. Um, we actually got stuck in Louisiana because he got fired on the spool. Well, the fuel car got shut off, and he was... Reaper calling when that happened, and then while he was there, he was calling um, white boats. Mm. He was switching back and forth between calling buildings and being the escort driver. Okay. And then we came back here to have Sterling, and then just stayed because the job wasn't very good there. Down. So you lived, lived with Brandy and Richard mm-hmm. and their daughter, and then you had Nala. Mm-hmm. What's her birthday? November 8th, 
Okay. And then we moved in with Zach. And where did you guys live? Um, at his place, a couple blocks away. Here in town? No, right so. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, yeah, you told me that. All right. All right. And then from Briceville? We ended up in Montana for a short time. Which was actually me staying with one of his relatives, me and Nala staying with one of his relatives, and he was on the road like a week at a time. Okay. Because I, I found out that I was pregnant again. He's trying to, we were actually supposed to settle down in Montana. That was our original plan. But then I ended up back home for Christmas with Nala. And we were going to go back after Christmas, but he ended up getting fired or something. It was like, it was a ridiculous fire. Like, there was a guy waiting at the spot. And he was three hours away from Riceville is where he went to go get unloaded. And a guy drove four hours and had been waiting there for an hour to bring his pick up his truck. Mm. And his boss was like, yeah, by the way, you're fired. And it was two weeks before Christmas. But so we ended up staying with my parents for a while. And then he got a job and we ended up in Louisiana. No. I ended up, me and Mal ended up staying back at the trailer for a short time, and then, uh, Okay. Okay, so, I got back up, so you're in Montana with mm-hmm. Zach, and living with Zach relatives, and he's the over-the-road truck. Mm-hmm. But then he had a load bringing back here, and he was fired here while you were living in... He was- we, uh, I went to my parents with Noah, and we were staying there for Christmas. And okay. Zach was supposed to get this load home, he was going to unload, and then he was going to drive three hours home. And then after New Year's Eve, we were going to go back out. And I was going to go back to Montana, and we were going to end up settling in. But the guy had somebody else who had been waiting there an hour to get his truck in. The guy, his ex-boss bought him a hotel for the day, and he had to stay in the hotel while me, while I had my mom and Richard drive me and Nala all the way to three hours to get him and our two dogs. Mm-hmm. Does he truck with the dogs in? What kind of dogs do you have? Uh, we have a blue healer. Mm. Uh, he's one heck of a dog. But we had a blue healer, uh, German Shepherd mix. Yeah. That was my baby. Okay. But uh, when when we ended up in Louisiana, we had the dogs. But I took a plane home with Nala to have Sterling, so the dogs can come with me then. Sure. And actually, I was supposed to. Zach was supposed to get a plane closer to. I went came two months before Sterling was supposed to be due. Mm-hmm. And Zach was going to come a couple weeks before he was due. And because Nala was in Gurley, so we were figuring he'd be in that area. And, uh, but I was not happy with the job that he had because the guy was screwing us royally with money. And he knew that. And I don't know if it was the fact that he knew me and Nala were in a place that was like stable and he wouldn't have to worry about us trying to find a way home and stuff or what, but he finally decided to leave that job and he ended up taking a train back and one of his relatives that lived in town took our boys but uh, my dog was big Mm -hmm. but a lot of puppy and they were older couple and his dog he's older very well trained listens really well Mm -hmm. so we couldn't get out there in time and they ended up having to give him to a new home. Mm. Which really sucked for me because, well, he was my baby and he's the only dog out of the two that actually likes playing with Nala. Yeah. <laughs> but, so we ended up, one of his friends went out and got 
we are recently in. He's staying with one of our friends nearby now. Oh, that's okay. trucking this afternoon. Okay. You know, I'm sorry because I get, I get listening to your story. It's intriguing, and then I lose track. So, the Christmas you're staying in Riceville, getting ready for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Zach loses his job, and then you go to Louisiana. No, we uh, ended up moving in with my parents for a while. Long he was looking for a new job, and that's actually how Zach and my stepdad's relationship shattered. It is now non-existent. Okay. What's the reason for that? Do you know? Two alpha males in one house, not... <laughs> yeah. It was bad. It was a nightmare. Don't ever do it. So then you ended up moving out of, out of there. Yep. Uh, Zach ended up getting a job. And I moved back into, well, we moved back into his place. And we were there a short time and ended up getting stuck in Louisiana. Luckily, we had friends nearby that were within the gas tank limit. How does he know people in all these different places? The question is, he's uh, X Men tonight. Okay. So his family has been tons of places. His family knows tons of people. Really? Here. Okay. Huh. Yeah. When did That's he leave? That's actually who's going to end up helping with all this stuff, I think. Yeah. When did he leave the Mennonites? A while before he met me. Or 17, I think you said. Okay. You know, on his own. Around, when you say you went, you went to Louisiana, around when is that, like the calendar time? What do we... It was summer. Um, when we got stuck there. Hmm. Summer, this summer? This last summer, before I had to Okay, so 2016. Summer 2016, okay. When did you get pregnant with? Not the exact date you got pregnant with. <laughs> with Sterling, but... Zach can tell you the exact date I got pregnant with Noah. Oh, wow. When did, when did, uh, when was Sterling born? Um, he was, we were in Louisiana and I got shipped back here two months before he was born. Okay. So that's real fresh. Yeah. And I lived with my mom, and when Zach got back, he stayed with a friend. And he got this cow hauling job. Or not cow hauling, chicken hauling job. And we moved here. I'm not here in Costa Vista. Sterling was born when? My first time. Were you living with your mom at the time that Sterling was born? Okay. I'm getting this. I'm getting the hang of this. It's probably kind of hard being separated from Zach. I hated it, and Nala did too. Oh man, she's a real hardcore daddy's girl. Mm -hmm. So like lately, like he was on a thing where he's gone at night, doesn't leave till after Nala goes to bed though, and then normally he's home by the time she wakes up. Okay. Well, lately it's been. Uh, like the last two nights he went to work earlier so she tried going herself to bed after he went to work 
Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And then she, she's been waking up odd hours of the night and staying up for hours. Mm. Just not throwing fits or anything when I try to put her back to bed, just crying. Yeah. Who did Zach live with while you were living with your mom and stepdad? Um, a guy named Rick. I don't know his last name. He lived there in town too, just a couple blocks away, so we'd go and visit. That's actually where I had Sterling. Really? In his bathtub. <laughs> Poor dad. sitting on this side and got up to get something and he sat back out there on this side and he said that his arm was like right right here and he said that he could feel her like he felt like she was trying to grab his arm through my tummy oh yeah. so i knew that and, like i'm screwed <laughs> um where does does uh where was she born then nala Costco. Costco? Okay. At the hospital? Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, we made it to the hospital. <laughs> Maybe, all right. Um, any allergies or medical issues, anything? That... Not, not as far as we, like, they've seen so far. Uh, she had to be switched to sensitive formula when she was first born. But my mom said that that's I mean, my little brother were the same way. What was the, the symptoms that you knew that you had to go to the sensitive formula? Uh, she was, she wasn't able to like keep it down, mm. really. And like, she, she'd keep it down, she would like throw it up every time, but like spit ups were more than normal, I guess. Okay. And I talked to the doctor about it and he switched us because I my mom was uh, she had an idea that that's what it was so we tried the sensitive formula before I talked to the doctor about it and it stopped so we had him write a thing so that they could cover it See? Lately we haven't because we've been trying to settle in with well move and settle in. And but uh, we've only had one vehicle and it's been having issues. My mom just got a extra vehicle. She said that we could use to get to doctors, so I was gonna figure out when I could get it and get it in. After I 
delivered Nala and Cresco. That kind of stuck with them. So if you would go to a doctor, it would be in Cresco. Okay. So other than the sensitive formula, no medications or anything like that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Not, not aside from Tylenol when she has teeth coming in. Sure. Nothing like prescribed or anything? When was the last doctor's appointment that Nala's had, do you think? Mm, I don't know if she can actually put it on the books or anything, but when we were in there for Sterling, we kind of checked it over. She got weighed and stuff. And then for Wick, she did too. And her, uh, I think they checked her iron. When you were in there for Sterling, is that the same time as the WIC or a different time as the WIC? Different time. Okay. When was the, you said you were in there for Sterling and she got weighed. Where was that and when? Yes, sir. Okay. That was before we went home. After you just delivered that? Like, a week. Okay. We stayed there for a week because Sterling got... Uh, antibiotics, we ended up getting transferred to Mason City, and I got two bags of blood, and he got antibiotics. Okay. And then they transferred you back from Mason City to Cresco? No. So you were in Cresco? The night I had Sterling, we all got, we got, both got transferred to Mason City that night. Who weighed you, or who weighed Nala and checked her over Mason City or Cresco? Uh, he didn't weigh her, he just checked her over. Uh, Wick is what weighed her. Okay. Waiter and... I don't know if they got a height, but I think they tried... No, I don't know, because they measured her on the thing still. Because they had a hold her straight. She didn't want to lay down. And everything was good then, back in, back in May. Okay. Um, and then when was the, the WIC appointment, do you think? I'm pretty sure it was the same month. Okay. No. Yeah. Yeah. And is that a doctor or like a nurse or who does that kind of checkup? I'm not sure what they're... I don't know if it's... That's what's congested. It, was it a... Um, in Mason City, that place across from Wells Fargo? By the mall? It's across from Wells Fargo. It's also a... Clinic for... People who don't have money. My sister went there to get... Birth oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know where you're talking about. Um, Right? By yes, City Park? Yep. Okay. And so you think that's around May of 2017 as well? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, any medical issues or anything that you've noticed since that checkup in May with Nala? We had um, like a week where I was concerned about uh, like her, she was having a lot of diarrhea, but she wasn't like, acting like her mouth hurt, mm -hmm. and she was running low fever on and off, but then she ended up having two teeth that started showing. Oh, sure. So. Luckily, I've got been I've been lucky, and she's had the twos come in. And the reason it was a week that time was because uh, it was 
said that that means coming. She has another set coming in. Not near as bad as last time. Yeah. How does she handle it? Pretty good? She She's more fussy than normal. Okay. But when it's really bugging her, she lets you know and goes like this. Oh, wow. Smart kid. Yeah, she, she is. in the real world. You've done more in the more places than I have. Yeah, before that, before I met Zach, I'd been, like I went to Colorado for a week, but that was when I was way younger because my dad was based there. And other than that, like Minnesota, Wisconsin, I went to one of the north or south places with like that in it. Mm -hmm. I don't remember which one of those, North Dakota, South Dakota, Carolina, whatever. But went there to pick up a horse once. But never really went anywhere other to sightsee, vacation. Yeah. So it was it was a fun experience. Is that being over there, Yeah, you can get to see everything through one show. Yeah, there's a lot of awesome spots. Yeah. Yeah, did you take, I know you had your, your your dog or a dog with you, and then did Nala go too? Sometimes I took her because when I was pregnant with her, yeah. like in the semi was the only time that she would stop moving. Oh, wow. Like it just, and when I took her in the first time after she was born, as soon as that thing started up, like we started on the road and she was out. Huh. She loved it. Zach wanted me to get her potty trained so he could take the car seat in the same way. Uh, um, how about you? Do you take any medication? No, after I had Nala, I did get started on uh, uh, antidepressants for like a week, but uh, I was constantly like nauseous and a couple times I threw up so I, I stopped taking them. Okay. They're making me feel worse than better, so. Who uh, pres prescribed those to you? Cameron. Who did? Cameron, uh, Prescott doctor. Okay. Camera? So, Camera. K-A-M-M-E-R is what the other guy Okay. And was that for symptoms? Any kind of symptoms or why why did you why did he prescribe those to you, do you know? Uh, postpartum depression? Okay. I think that's what it's called. Okay. That's what he was saying he thought it was. Because it wasn't like really bad, but he wanted to keep it from getting really bad. Because they use they use antidepressants to treat a number of different things, like headaches and huh? sleep. Yeah, I mean different things. So I didn't know. So you had, you'd actually spoken to them about feelings. Yeah. Okay. I had heard about, I'd heard stories before I had her about um, like things that happened with that and I wasn't, I was pretty sure that it was just because I was on an odd schedule with her but I felt like I was sleeping 
more than I should be. Uh-huh. So I just brought it up as precaution. Do you remember when he would have prescribed those? I do not. May, it would have been after the birth. No. No. After November 2015. After I Oh, okay. Oh, you said now, that's right. It was within the first couple months. So then, um, you didn't like the way they, they made you feel. You got off them, and then did did uh, did you still feel like you were sleeping more than you should, or? Yeah, like after I got off of them, like they weren't helping. Mm-hmm. They were just making me nauseous. Okay. But uh, I started trying to come up with like things to do during the day, make plans with people the day before, so that way I had a reason to get out of bed, aside from just feeding and burping and changing knowledge. Yeah. Because, I mean, if she's sleeping, what's the point of me being up? That was a problem. Because my parents were at work, and Richard's daughter was at school, and Zach was on the road, so I wouldn't really have the move to get out of bed, aside from taking care of Noah. So you kind of just... When Nala was up, I was up. Yeah. If she wasn't, I wasn't. Yeah. That's okay, because that's... I was on her schedule, but... It just made me feel kind of crappy. I was oversleeping. Yeah. So really no medication since then. No. Um... I have a problem with migraines a lot, so just Tylenol and stuff for that, but well, sometimes those migraines are bad enough, Tylenol doesn't even touch them, do you? Yep, I got hit by a car, like I was going across the street, and the car near hit me when I was four. Ooh and it messed up like you can feel where the spine's all janked up and i'm pretty sure i'm supposed to be going to the chiropractor for it i think we just stopped because we didn't have the money for it Mm -hmm. but i've been meaning to get in and see if they can do anything to readjust it or whatever if i can start up chiropractor stuff again see if that helps but are there good chiropractors around that that you know of that you could go to? I, w- I was just going to try and go to whatever one I was going to when I was younger. Yeah. I think there's one in Charles City. That's what one I was going to. Plus, I'm actually supposed to have glasses. That would probably help, too. Sure. What do you have in? Far away or close up? Like that, please use hand whatever. Uh-huh. It is like a little blurry. Okay. Like the second one, I can't really read it all. Yeah, yours is just the opposite of mine. Mine's close-up stuff now. Mine getting old enough that it's just close-up. Um, yeah, so don't take offense to this, but any self-medication like marijuana, methamphetamine, anything like that? I did. Okay. Honestly, I did. Um, before I met Zag, I was really, really hard into pot. Okay. But... When I met Zach, he opened my eyes to the fact that it was just making my depression worse. Okay. And then I have tried methamphetamine. But like how long ago was that? Really not that long ago. Within the time that I've had Sterling. Okay. Is there any meth at the house? No. How did you try it? It's 
still, I mean, money's in trouble for Everyone a lot of people, yeah, but I mean, is it, is it really tough for you guys right now? Last week it was, uh, the last paycheck, a bunch of bills came out of it, so we didn't really have much left over, mm -hmm. but we had enough to fill up with food, so is, that's all that matters. Is he working full time? Is it considered like a full-time job? Okay. Okay. And what is it that he works for? Chicken oil. He hauls chickens from 
other plants to a main plant in Charles City, a kill plant in Charles City. He almost always leaves in the evening. And then for a while he was having to drive four hours to a place and four hours back. Mm -hmm. He'd leave in the evening around dinner time and he would be back to like afternoon the next day. That sucked. But normally it's evening or nightish. And he's normally back early morning. It'll be after it starts getting late, but most of the time it's before he it starts getting light out. When he gets back. So you can put like a, a seven, six, seven. Yeah. So he drives right. drives all all evening and he sits a lot. Oh. He always wants to be uh, to his destination an hour early in case he ends up like somebody else ends up being late, cool. and then he can load early. Yeah. But they normally have him in the middle for getting loaded. So it's just a, a bunch of trucks going to these different plants and Farms. S- stacking up and then loading chickens and then off he goes to Charles City. Then where does he leave his truck then when he gets done? Charles City is the car Okay. So he drives to Charles City, leaves his car, leaves your car, mm-hmm. and then drives. Okay. That's why doctor's appointment's been difficult. Sure. With one vehicle. Yeah. Who employs... Um, who employs him then? The chicken plant? No. Um, Nugent Nugget, I think is the name of the company. They, uh, have a couple drivers. And, well, one of the drivers owns his own truck, but he buys the semis, and then he puts people in it, and get some uh, loads and then obviously gave them. I see. His boss actually, he had just started working there and well, we didn't have a permit location for my mom's, but I really hated living there. Uh, but he actually gave us a loan to get the permit. Hmm. So I guess you got to work for it. Yeah, he's very, I think Zach said he's actually Christian. He's a very nice man. Good. Good. Um, about, in the end, so again, if I have something too personal to say, none of your business, but, I mean, like, how much does Zach make? Does he get paid weekly? Every two weeks. Okay. So, like, roughly, how much would he make? I'm pretty sure the biggest check he had was 900 something. Okay. Which for us is extremely well. Yeah. We've had his last couple jobs have been very unstable, unreliable. Oh man, I hated it so bad. But this guy's the check every time you can expect about the same amount every check. Expected about the same time. I think a lot of times those independent guys really get taken advantage of. You know, and they're pushed to buy more and sleep less. And, and then if they get caught doing that, mm-hmm. then the fines and stuff take care of any kind of profit they would make. Luckily, with this, it's like before. It was okay that he wasn't home a lot because Nala, look, she was too young to understand mm-hmm. you know, he was leaving or whatever, but then she's her, it started affecting his sleep. And, well, I didn't like the fact that 
wasn't going to ride in the semi every single week with him and Nala and the two dogs. It was, it was fun every now and then, but it was a nightmare longer than a couple days. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and it breaks up your routine, too. You can't establish any kind of home routine. Well, yeah, and it was hard for him to keep driving because in the semi, Nala would get tired, so she'd sleep. And whenever Nala slept, like, I reflexively got tired and, like, my brain's like, oh, you need to be sleeping, too. <laughs> so I'd end up falling asleep, and then he'd get tired. So it was just, it was bad all the way around. So I finally convinced him to try a stable home every day or night job, and he liked driving at night before better because there was less cars. Yeah. I'm like, okay, that's fine. And so far it's been going pretty good. Every now and then he'll have, like the other day, well, a couple days ago, one of the tires went out on the car. So when he got home from work, he ended up taking it to a friend's place, napping there while his, well, it was his relative, while his relative changed out the tires. And this next check will pay him for it, but. Yeah. But then by the time he got home, he only had enough time to shower, eat, and get to go back to work. Mm. But that's not all the time, but I was pretty grouchy. Yeah. Is there any kind of health insurance or anything that's attached to his to his work? Do you guys have health I'm insurance? Not sure. I have Title 19, okay. and so does Nala and Sterling did as well. Um, but if Zach, I'm pretty. I think he has a thing. Either that or he, he just hasn't got around to pulling out the paperwork for it. Because no, the kids were already covered, so he wasn't in too big of a rush. Okay. Because he would never go in for anything. How old is he? How old is that? Twenty-seven, I think. Twenty-six or twenty-seven. Still young and healthy. He hits forty, can start falling off. He sometimes he acts like he is. Yeah. Start calling you up. <laughs> um, what what kind of car do you guys have? Um, a Buick. You know what year? No. I knew when I was over here a while back to. Um, Register it, but I could not tell you now. Um, Two door, four door. Four door. It's an older one. Park Avenue. Uh, the Saber. There's a C. The Cern. No C. Um, at the beginning, I think. Okay. I didn't do the deal. I just it was put under my name. So that way, I don't know, cost less, I guess? Because mm -hmm. I only had one not. I had a speeding ticket that was paid for within like a month that it was supposed to be a while back. Sure. story about Sterling being born at home in a bathtub. How'd that happen? You're amazing. He came a week early. Okay. Like we planned? No. He 
one of the first. No, he came like a week and a half early, I think. Was actually what I ended up being. So I wasn't like I was. We were planning on him being a week early. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Because Nala was a little bit early mm -hmm. too. Okay. But we didn't think he'd be that early. And with Nala, I was. I had contractions that actually started. On a Friday, I think. Yeah, because my mom got home from work, and. What had happened is I had to go to the bathroom. So I went to go to the bathroom, but I did not make it to the toilet. But it wasn't the first time that it happened. So I just assumed, no, oh, she just happened to kick my bladder at the right time. But then I started thinking about it because it was so close. I decided to mention it to my mom and she flipped. And I ended up going to the hospital that night. The next morning, I stayed all night. The next morning, I started having little bitty contractions that I could feel. And they told me I was slightly dilated, sent me home. So I did a ton of things to try and get me more dilated. The contractions got a little worse. Went back to Mason City, got sent back home. Oh. Went back to Mason City that same night, got sent back home. And finally, I ended up going to the farm with Zach because he was working on the farm. I ended up going to the farm with Zach. I ended up. I think I even ran at one point, did everything I could think of, and by the time, by the time we, it came evening, I was having to sit down every time I had a contraction, and then I'd be good to go, and then I'd have to sit down, and we ended up leaving the farm, and um, when we first got to the farm, my contractors weren't that bad, and his boss at the time uh, came by. To, I don't even know. He was checking on the semi or something because Zach was like he, the guy owned the semi, but Zach was driving it, and uh, we were working on it. And he stopped by to check on the semi, and he told us about how his wife. They went to Cresco, and at five centimeters dilated, they induced her labor. Well, Mason City sent me home five centimeters dilated. So I was ticked off. Yeah. I'm like, okay, well, if we go in, we're going in an ambulance, you know, with a police escort, because he, uh, with his previous one, he said that he called in a police escort, and they sped the entire way to the hospital. But... Um, I told him we'd call in a police escort and I'm not going to Mason City. He'll probably send me home again. But I refused to go in until like last minute. And we got home, we got to my parents at dinner time. And my mom was like, here, you gotta eat something. You need to eat something before you go in. Zach starts scarfing it down. Every other bite, I had to freeze and lean against the wall. That was with me sitting. Yeah. And finally, Mom's like, you, you guys got to go. You got to go. Takes my plate. Takes Zach's plate. I'm like, I don't have a bag. I end up upstairs laying on my bed while Zach tries packing the bag. The dog we had, the blue dealer, had never had an ex accident the entire time I'd known him. He liquid shits in my fucking closet because he was so nervous. I'm like, oh goodness. Because they sense, you know, dogs sense when things are... They start, they start pacing. Yeah. And, like, he, was, he wasn't around when uh, stuff went down with Sterling, so I had no idea whatsoever. But, so, like, I had that, and even when I got to the hospital, I got an epidural, and it was still, like, four hours later before I finally had her. So when in Mason City? I, no. Cresto. Cresto. <laughs> you didn't want to go back no. to Mason City. No. Wow. I dreaded going there after having Sterling. <laughs> but with Sterling it was I woke up with cramps and I have, I have
Okay. Be easy to transition into a new subject. It looks like we're transitioning into the birth of Sterling. So why don't we take our, our break for the day and we'll resume at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. Anything else before we break? Council, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, please continue to heed the admonition. You can just put them, uh, actually, why don't you give them to Marilyn and she'll get them back in the morning. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. And it's getting warmer by the hour, so it should be a lot better tomorrow.